Um, besides the benefits that coming from the uh, hybrid design that gives us soft tissue contrast for high precision image guidance, plus the adaptive workflow to control the actually delivered dose um, for a given treatment, we also have the opportunities that come with the 1.5 high field Tesla MR and for example in head and neck cancer where we um, deliver the treatment within a clinical trial where we explore how the tumor changes over the um, course of treatment not only in size so anatomical changes but also functional changes like diffusion weighted imaging and one of our first cases we've had a neck cancer we have treated um, the patient was treated on a protocol um, we have delivered a standard fractionation treatment with um, concurrent chemotherapies or a standard treatment and throughout the course of treatment we did several time points of additional imaging using the unity uh, measuring, for example, ADC, diffusion weighted imaging, and compared that with a reference scanner, um, a three Tesla diagnostic scanner. And it, to address the question, what are the changes in diffusion restriction over uh, the period of time, and how does it compare the unity measurements with the measurements at a reference scanner? And what we found is that there is a nice matching of the results. So in this patient we could observe um, a decrease in the diffusion restriction as a early sign of radiation response. And in future we will go one step further and use this information in an integrated online workflow to adapt our treatment according to response.